Hi everyone, I'm Gabby. And I'm Jay. And this is our journey to early <laughs> retirement. On this channel, we are sharing our experience as we get ready to retire in six years or so. If you want to know more about us or want to hear an overview of our plan, you can check out our introduction video. Today, we will be tackling how to determine what your retirement savings goal should be and how to get there. It really depends on what you want your lifestyle to be once you are retired. But first, please hit the like button to help us out with the YouTube algorithm and subscribe and hit the bell to be notified whenever we post new content. You know, more often than not, our work dictates where and how we live, which can really increase our expenses. Retirement's a great opportunity to take a look at what's important to us and spend our money accordingly. But because of this, there's a popular retirement rule of thumb that says you should aim to spend about 80% of your annual salary each year in retirement. So if you make $50,000 a year while working, you should expect to spend around $40,000 a year in retirement. Well, we would like to respectfully disagree. When you look at the $50,000 salary, you have to subtract income and other taxes, which are almost 20% on their own, and what you're saving for retirement, let's say 10%. Just with this, you see you're actually living on about $35,000. If you're already living on that, why would you need $40,000 in retirement? Now, if you apply the 80% rule to that $35,000, you're already down to only needing around $28,000 per year, which will round up to $30,000, which is a lot more realistic in our opinion. If you want to be more intentional, you can look at your lifestyle now and decide on the lifestyle you want to have during retirement. Creating a budget based on that will give you a more accurate monthly spending amount, which you can use to calculate what you will need each year. We have created a video on how to budget, which we think would be really helpful for this. Also, don't forget to include big one-time expenses. Be realistic. Maybe you have kids and want to plan for college or weddings or a new car, or like us, moving to a new country. <laughs> Making sure you account and plan for these can really help ensure your savings are enough. But knowing what you plan to spend during each year of retirement is only the first part. You then need to know how much you need to retire. Yes, the total amount. If you've looked into FIRE, you surely have heard of the Trinity Study or the 4% rule. The Trinity Study is a paper published in 1998 at Trinity University in Texas. It studied the historical stock market data to establish a safe withdrawal rate for retirement. The safe withdrawal rate is the amount of money you can withdraw from your investments each year and not run out of money in 30 years. What the study concluded was that a 4% annual withdrawal provided the most stable odds of success at 96%. A 3% withdrawal had a greater than 99% chance of success, but it also required you to save so much more. Thus, the 4% rule was born. In simple terms, if you withdraw 4% of your total savings amount each year, you should not have to worry about running out of money during retirement. So you want that 4% to be equal to what you want to spend each year during retirement based on your lifestyle and budget. Then just a little math will help us calculate the amount you need in savings. Let's look at an example. If you need $30,000 per year to live, then based on the 4% rule, you want to have at least $750,000 to retire. That would be your retirement savings goal. How can someone live well on $30,000 per year? You can check out our video on geographic arbitrage. We can use a tool like Seafire Sim to help us model these scenarios. This calculator shows what we just broke down. $750,000 in total savings and withdrawing $30,000 per year for expenses. When we run the simulation, we see that it shows a 96% rate of success. That's pretty good. You can play around with the variables until you figure out your retirement savings goal. For example, if you want to instead live on $50,000 a year, but you've only saved $750,000 in total, your success rate dramatically decreases to 53%. So let's change the retirement total goal to $1 million and we see the success probability only goes up to 77%. Hmm, still not enough. If we go up to 1.2 million, we get a 93% rate of success, which is far more acceptable. It's a matter of finding the rate of success you are comfortable with. We don't try to achieve 100% because we're using past data to predict future outcomes, and that's never guaranteed with the stock market. For us, planning to stay flexible is way more important. Always being aware of how the market is performing during our retirement years will be a must. A bad recession at the beginning of our retirement could wipe us out faster than anticipated. So being prepared to reduce expenses when needed is a key strategy in our retirement plan. We use Seafire Sim and a few other tools, including Excel, to model rates of return at different expense levels. And we pair that with sites like The Earth Awaits, which gives us the cost of living in different countries to make sure that we can fulfill our dream of retiring everywhere in the world. 
Also, you might have other income sources during your retirement, like Social Security or a pension. And yes, regardless of what the media says, Social Security will still be around. More on that in another video. Having additional income during retirement can cover some of your expenses, which can reduce the total retirement savings amount you need. You can add these incomes to your calculations if they apply to you. You can also add big one-time expenses to show how they might impact your retirement savings. Overall, these online tools are great to help model what your retirement would look like and determine the total savings amount you will need. Once you have that number, you can work backwards to figure out how much you should save each month to get to that goal in your desired amount of time. Let's do some math. The four variables of our retirement equation are your retirement goal, let's say $750,000. Remember, that is if your living expenses during retirement will be $30,000 a year. The next variable of this equation is how soon you want to retire. We'll put in 10 years. This means you will begin saving today and retire in 2030. Then we have the rate of return we expect from the market. This is not a steady number and historic data cannot guarantee anything, but it can help us come up with an average. We usually use 7 to 8% in our projections, so we'll use 7% today to keep our predictions on the safer side. Finally, applying some math will give us how much you should save each year, and then a simple division should give us what you should save each month. By the way, a big shout out to my brother Antonio for helping us out with the equation. The way we have it, if you want to retire in 10 years and have no money saved yet, and the total retirement amount you need is $750,000, you would need to save $54,000 each year or $4,500 every month. Whoa, that's a lot. Yeah, if we change our timeline to 20 years instead, keeping $750,000 as our goal, the amount we need to put away in savings every year changes to $18,000 or $1,500 a month. That's better. And if we extend out to a 30-year timeline, we only need to save $7,950 per year or $662 per month. That's way more doable. Remember that these amounts are only if you haven't saved anything yet and you don't plan on having any other retirement income like Social Security or a pension. If you don't want to break out your pencils and do the math, there's a very handy savings rate calculator created by the US government and we're going to link that in the description. But don't be putting that under your mattress or in a savings account. If you want your money to keep its value and gain compound interest, it needs to go in the market. We'll link our video on how to do that at the end of this one. But that's enough math for today. But if you're interested, Antonio provided an exhaustive explanation of this equation that we'll be posting later. And we know we just dumped a lot of information on you in a short time, and there are so many more things that go into your needs for retirement that we couldn't possibly cover them all in a short video. But let us know if we can answer any of your questions. Of course, we are not financial advisors merely financial enthusiasts. <laughs> Bottom line, if you're thinking about retirement, calculating your retirement savings goal is a good place to start. In our humble opinion, understanding your spending habits now and using them to set spending goals for retirement is much more realistic than applying generic calculations. Once you have your retirement savings goal, you can determine when you want or can retire and how much you should be saving every year and every month. And we know it's not an easy goal and times are really tough now for so many people. So we hope this video didn't only make your head hurt with all the math, but it also helps you get started on your plan for the future. So what do you think about all these calculations? Do you already have a retirement savings goal? Yeah, what do you think about these so-called experts like Susie Orman saying you need at least five to ten million dollars to retire? Did we mess something up in our math or our plan? Please let us know in the comments below. So you can follow us on social media or our blog at gabbyandjaysjourney.com. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, hit that bell to be notified whenever we post new content. Until then, please stay safe, do your part, take care of one another, and thank you for joining us.